And I mean, we're like, whoa! A little bit of sparkle and color. It's Emily. Of course I had to. Tell me a little bit about the, the something behind this dress. Uh, yeah. This is a lovely Valentino number, and I felt like it had a little bit of a period piece to it as well as just like a, a disco ball feel. It's a little celebratory dress. Listen, you absolutely nailed it, 1,000%. Now, we have a lot of stuff going on social media, especially when the first season came out. People were like... How do you pronounce it? Is it Emily in Paris or Emily in Paris? Now, please, just set the record for everybody today. What is the, <laughs> the correct pronunciation? I have to say, I think I'm always going to say Emily in Paris. Oh, well, there we go. Look, I get it. It's romantic to say Paris. Totally is. I, I just keep forgetting to say it that way. <laughs> you, me as well. I'm saying Emily in Paris, me and my wife. Absolutely. <laughs> so six million households tuned into season one in the first 28 days. Why do you think fans are so in love with the show? We didn't know, obviously, when we were filming it, that it would come out during the time that it did, during a pandemic when everyone was stuck at home. And this show has wish fulfillment. It has escapism and travel and brightness of color, fashion, laughs. And I think it just provided people a sense of comfort and fun during a really trying time for the world. Um, and I think that's what people wanted more of at that time. So I feel really grateful that, that people enjoyed it so much. And I hope they do season two, too. I know I am. I'm already on episode six of this new season. I'm just loving it. Me and my wife are like binge watching. Like, oh my God, what is she doing? What's happening? Uh, thank you. We love to hear that. It's incredible. Okay, so we love the fashion over at Access Hollywood. So here are some of our favorite looks right here. I mean, oh, stunning. Thank you. So many colors. Yeah. So can you tell me a little bit about? Uh, Yes, the first one with the hearts is actually a Georgian designer from the country of Georgia, um, the Republic of Georgia, and uh, it was on a, a boat party in the, on the Seine, and the second one's from Saint-Tropez, and the third one was one of my favorites when I'm in Savoir, and there's an interesting conversation with Camille's character. Um, yeah, as always, the fashion is just the most fun and bright and bold and bubbly, and I just love wearing it all. I'm a fan of all three. All three of them. Thank you. Thank you. Just one last question. So, yeah. uh, and since season one, a little bit of change. You got married. I've been married five years, you know, so I'm congratulating you right now on the Thank marriage. You. Now, can you give us a little bit about um, how did you pick that gorgeous dress? Because I saw the top, the layer, it was like absolutely unique. I have seen a lot of celebrities' uh, wedding dresses and none as stunning as yours. So, how did you pick that dress? Tell me a little bit about the background. Thank you. Um, I just really wanted something that felt British, Victorian, as well as Western. Americana and Ralph Lauren is the epitome of, uh, of mountain chic and old school drama and I and I just loved it so much so it was it was a whimsical beautiful dress and I love it. Perfect choice you look incredible have a great night okay you got it